What's up, guys? Welcome to today's stream. What happened? I don't know what I did, but okay. There's these back buttons on the controller, and I'm like, it's like, like a second A button. Does it even say like A button, or does it? It's just random. <clears throat> but anyways, hopefully y'all is having a good day. Everything's going all right. Let's do some night races. But like I started off during the day before, so I'm like, now nah, let me go ahead start off at night. All right. Inspire like dream killers? Lead them waves. That's so. There's a serious race coming up. Crew versus crew. Now this one on one shit. If you keep going like this, getting noticed at night, we're gonna get in. That means a big step up the ladder. Just keep doing what you're doing. Try to get as much RP as I can. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Bro, where was the cop A? I, I didn't see no cop. It's like, I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I've played this game before, but I feel like I drive pretty good in this game. So usually when I say stuff like that, I immediately crash into something, but I guess, I guess not tonight. Not tonight, but today. Bro, I'm even getting my days, like, time of the day confused. I'm like, I'd be streaming at night, but like, welcome to today's stream. I think because they got me racing at night, and so it just, and then it's a little gloomy outside right now, so. I feel like I didn't even hit that. I feel like I hit other cars harder than that, and they didn't do nothing to me. It's like, do you not see me driving? Why did, I swear, man. Why would they have, like, a the gas station right there next to the checkpoint? Knowing that if a person messed their car up, they're going to want to go through the gas station, right? 
That would make no sense. That is horrible placement of the gas station. See, it's like you hit the ground all hard. Why is it that when I, I bumper tap a car, it's like it takes away my uh, car's health. You can hit those jumps, but you can't bumper tap a car. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's like, bro, I am barely hitting these cars. Look how hard, how hard he hit the ground. But you, you just, you just breathe on the car like you're gonna lose health. And they're all like, oh, let's put the gas station right next to the check um checkpoint. Like you gotta drive slow through it, cause you can't These cars don't move out the way. Dang, pull over to the side of the road. I gotta go somewhere far out. Don't go in the water.
These cops are annoying, bruh. Hey, dang! Stop hitting my car! Jesus Christ! Go and eat some donuts! I gotta go and find me a gas station. I want this car to drive faster. I swear, man. Why is he turning around? This is bruh, this is starting to really get annoying. I swear, man. Man, I swear I hate this game. And it's like they won't have you do any upgrades, so it's like, what's the point? I managed to salvage something from what you brought in. It's like, man, have it where you can do upgrades a lot sooner. They're gonna have it where it's like, oh yeah, let's have it where you gotta keep playing. It's like I can't upgrade the car if you're gonna have it where every time when I go out at night, I'm gonna get chased by some cops. Oh, it make no sense. It's like they know how to execute a racing game. It's just they don't know how to execute it. It's like they'll do they'll do something correct with it, but then just make it the worst experience possible. Oh, it make no sense. I don't like that whole stuff where you lose out on your RP and all that crap. So I have it where I just pay a fine or something. I'm telling you, it's like they always got to make cops annoying in this game. It's like they just can't have it where it's like, okay, what's the point of being an illegal street racer if you can't outrun the cops? That's the whole point of illegal street racing. You outrun the cops. If you can't do that, then it's like, fam, you shouldn't be out here illegally street racing. Like, oh, it make no sense. It's like defeating the purpose of illegal street racing. They're like, oh, but we still gonna have it where you get caught by police. Stupid. It's like, somehow, some way, all their cars is a lot faster than yours. It's like, yeah, you ain't... It's like, man, you guys... Like I said, they know how to execute a game, but then they, at the same time, they don't know how to execute a game. Like, we can make a racing game, but we're not going to make it a fun racing game. I swear, man. I'm telling you, it's like these game developing companies, they just hire crackheads off the street. And they're all like, oh, you, you seem like you have, like, the ambition to be a game developer. They don't have no idea what they're doing. They're like, oh, yeah, it's just, just going out there and just, just doing whatever. Because it, it, it looks right to, to EA. It looks right to them. And every other shady 
game developing company. That's why they had to put this game on EA Play because they knew people wasn't going to pay money for it. They're like, oh yeah, let's come out with it. That's how you know like a game is just really garbage. And a lot of the games that the company releases garbage, when they got to come out with a streaming service and make it seem like, oh yeah, you guys is you still giving the company money. But it's like, yeah, let's let's see you guys try to come out with a free game. And then it's funny, when they do come out with a free game, they get rid of it. Because I remember they came out with like a free Need for Speed years ago, and then they got rid of it. And then same with uh, Apex um, Legends Mobile. They knew that that was going to be a serious competition, or they knew that they wasn't going to make no money from it. So they are like, oh, well, let's get rid of it. I'm telling you, EA is such a shady company. And they think by hiring ASAP Rocky to be a part of the next Need for Speed, oh yeah, that's 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 really going to drive people in wanting to get the game. It's like, I swear, man. I only buy it because I was like, I'm a fan of racing games. But other than that, if I wasn't, ASAP Rocky wouldn't um, get, like force me to go out and buy Need for Speed. I'm like, I would just, I honestly prefer, why is that car flipped over? I honestly would prefer to just sit and listen to his music rather than to just, oh, let me race up against him. It's like, man, that's, it's just, it's so stupid. And it's like, you guys, I'm telling you, man, a lot of these companies need to get shut down. They honestly do. EA, 2K, Activision, all those guys that came out with some shady video game and they put like half the work in it that it needs or that it doesn't need. It needs both both halves all the work not half all So you got some games out there that download it, won't start up. And you got other games out there where it's like, it'll start up, but it's just not good. And then you got games that are actually good where it's like nobody don't know about them. Because these top companies are all like, oh, well, let's buy our spot on the top selling page and the most rated page and all these other. And it's just the developers giving it good ratings. There is no way possible people sit down and they look at any EA game and they say that it's a good game. I don't think EA... EA doesn't release good games. They'll just release a game better than the other one. And you don't know which game is going to be bad. You don't know whether it's going to be the new one or the old one. And in EA's case, yeah, all the old games that they released were a lot better than the new games that they released. And you would think like, okay, you know, let's let's release the old games. Let's release um, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Let's let's release, you know, uh, the old Battlefields. Let's remaster uh, Titanfall, or at least come out with a Titanfall three. But they're like, nah, the titles that do well but doesn't make them money, don't even focus on them. But they know everybody going to be trying to get the, the latest legends or skins or whatever in Apex. They know people going to go out and buy a $69 video game. And it's like, it ain't even worth no 69 Out of all the companies that could have raised their prices, EA is going to really raise their prices? It's like, when was the last time you guys came out with a, a FIFA or a Madden that had good ratings? It's like, man, don't be sitting here raising your prices to no game and it ain't even good. It ain't even got good ratings. It definitely ain't got no um, above four stars on no Xbox, PlayStation. It definitely ain't got no overwhelmingly positive or very positive rating on Steam. So it's like, why are you guys raising your price? What, what new things did you add to your game that made the game better? Nothing. It's still the same game that came out 10 years ago. 
Only thing them guys do is just focus on the visuals. We ain't playing the game for no visuals. You can have all the black people look alike, all the Hispanic people look alike, and all the white people that look alike. We just want a good video game. They're like, nah, let, let's, let's make Ronaldo look like actual Ronaldo, but he plays like a robot. Stupid. Hey, what's up, Addy? Fun fact, um, it's a fun fact. Let's hear it. All right, fun fact, uh, 22 um, caliber pistols aren't really all that good. It's like, I, I actually had a, a 22 pistol backfire in my face and a bunch of fragments of the bullet had hit me in the face, so don't, don't, get, a, don't get a 22. It's, it's, such, it's just so random, but that was the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty crazy. I went to a shooting range with my dad and then I chose the twenty two thinking like oh, okay. This should this should be okay. All of a sudden gun backfires. I just feel fragments hit my face in instantly after the gun backfired. And then the gun was like it was smoking bad. Like I think I don't know, I think what happened was some gunpowder just got jammed in the gun and then it just kinda like a you know, small little explosion in my hand. I'm fine though, it's just I just know not to ever shoot a twenty two again. Sorry if you joined in on my rant about video games. I know the difference between all guns, it's just no like pistols and shotguns and stuff. Yeah. Shotguns, I'm like I see that's the thing though. I'm like I you know I, I wanna work my way up. But yeah, pistols, yeah. I think next go um like I want to try like out uh assault rifles see how that feels but yeah Eddie you you seem like I want to try that yeah you seem like the type though that like big guns you don't sound like the type you don't sound like the type that I feel like you you know what you you go to a gun store you know what you're doing when you go in there It's like I go in there. I'm like, I want, I want that one, that one. I want that one with the the, the cool looking um, handle to it. Addy walks in there. I'm like, yeah, I want a nine millimeter Glock 17, hollow tips. It's like you done named off. It was like, oh, and uh, ones that's made in 1997, not the ones made in 1996. Those ones are, they're just, they're not, they're not normal. I'm like, you know the the year of the weapon, like. Like you seem like the survivalist in the zombie apocalypse where it's like you you know you know how to survive. I'd go and prepare it. Yeah. Yeah, because if they didn't have like they had like signs when I went in there, so if they have no signs, I'm like, I don't know what to start with. I'm like, what what's that gun that Rick had in Walking Dead? I want something like that, but maybe maybe a a tad bit smaller. Or that gun that Tupac had in uh, Juice. Like, sir, the gun has a name. Well, I don't. I don't know. I I played, you know, futuristic war games. They don't. They don't go based off of no actual names in there. Oh, then, uh, I'll probably get into guns if I move out so I can protect myself. That's good. No, that is good. Because people are crazy out here. People are seriously crazy, so... No, I I can... I understand why. I'm going to turn this game off because I'm getting tired of these cops. It's trying to race and then they want to drive out and... Yeah, I'm turning this game off because Need for Speed is having a moment and I personally don't want to be a part of it, so... I'm like, I ain't gonna fool with that no more. Um, 
game can I play? I really don't want to play that boxing game because that boxing game, that's just going to stress me out even more. I'll just play Generation Zero. Right now, I don't know what guns we have. I just know where they are. If I need mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I, um... Because my dad always kept them hidden, but ready to go in case someone broke in. That's good. Honestly, no, that's good. Like, I don't want to seem, like, too crazy with it, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, I, I do want to, like, have something like that. Where it's like, you know, there's, like, a little, like, a little Ziploc thing on the side of my bed, but, you know, there's a weapon in there and things in case if I need to go for it. Or do like how uh, Denzel Washington did. He had a whole shotgun um, underneath his bed in one of the... Um, it was a yeah, training day. Homie had like a shotgun that like spin, like that spins around. And I'm like, how? What? why do you have a shotgun that spins around underneath your bed? Oh, is this that one where it's like I got to um, go up against like a bunch of wave of enemies? I think this is it. Yeah, she ain't. I'm like, y'all realize I don't understand what you guys are talking about, like... Where's the mines I just... Oh. Why would he put... Oh, too late. No, if I move out, I'm gonna need a gun, big dog, so I can have. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, no, honestly, that, that's what you, you need to do. It's like John Wick your whole house. Gotta go about keep you tight. Alright, Addy, I appreciate you for stopping by. Shout out to Addy, guys. If y'all haven't followed Addy, make sure y'all go follow her. Show her some love and support. Appreciate you for stopping by. It's always good having you in the stream, Addy. Wait, hold up. Time out, time out. All right, time back in.
they need to have it where it's like you get some sort of like assistance out here or something. Okay, that's some crazy stuff. Is that it? So so many leads coming from this tree. Hey, thank God. My goodness, bruh. How is it that I, ain't, I don't, I barely have any ammo and I still ain't got like, I barely have any space? That's crazy.
that check him? No, I did not. It's like, can I get inside your little underground club now? I gotta be so loud, bruh. Kärnhållrätt.ombrytningsbyrån.ombrytningsbyrån.ombrytningsbyrån.ombrytningsbyrån.ombrytningsbyrån.ombrytningsbyrån.ombrytningsbyrån.ombrytningsbyrån.omb
Dang, I know if I get into a shootout, where am I at? I think I remember being here before. I think, I don't know. Maybe I I could I could be wrong. Hmm. Whoa, that is crazy. You can't shoot. What? It's a whole window. That's man. Excuse me. Part me. Thank you. Excuse me. I got in that house, but okay. Why can he not get inside?
can't even see it. Wait. He's stuck on it. It's like, bro, it's just a box. This, I swear, man. It's like, I don't know how that, why the game, it's been out for all this time. And you still get stuck on boxes and crap. It makes no sense. Uh, it's like people, they, they just, they don't know what they're doing anymore with games. I swear they don't. They just hire anybody nowadays to make a game. They're all like, no, you don't need no experience. It's like, all you just need to, you know, do is just know what a video game is. And then they, you just go on from there. I'm telling you, they go to downtown Seattle, they hire a crackhead, and they just, you know, like, yeah, just just go ahead and uh, do whatever you want to do. It's like, it's okay. We we got we got time. It's like, you don't, you don't need no real experience developing a game. That's the case. I'm like, bro, I can could have developed like a hundred games by now. If all I know is they just, you know, still issues, problems, get stuck on stuff, all these other extra things. Yeah, sure. But anyways, I'm on right. Uh, Janie Bun. Make sure y'all go follow her. Show her some love and support. Stay tuned for the next stream. Peace.